coffee, check. Questions, check. Let's get started. Check this out. So this is the coffee book tag. I am so excited to be doing it. Thank you, Monica, for certainly tagging me in this. Of course, her information will be down below. Please check out her video. Let's get started. Black Coffee. Name a series that's tough to get into, but has hardcore fans. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the first thing that came to mind was the Raven Boys. Like, <sighs> That first book was tough, y'all. I just, it's not the whole book that was really tough. It was like that first chapter. And I was listening to an audio book. So I wasn't even reading it. I was just listening to it and was a bit sleepy. And I was driving, so I was horrible. But, <laughs> but actually, as it went on and on and on, <laughs> I really, really did get interested and invested in the characters. And I am going to be going along with that series, as you all know. And I do enjoy this series, but the fanship is real. It is real. Next question. Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of year. This is a throwback to all the people who had this as required reading from back in the 90s. <laughs> and that is the Chronicles of Narnia, more specifically, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And if you've not heard of this, this is crazy. What are they teaching in schools these days? This book came out in 1950, for crying out loud. There are three movies that are out, and the last movie came out in 2010. Sorry, I just feel like a little tight about it because I was talking to someone about it and she's older than me. And when I mentioned Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I was like, you don't know what that is? How? Like, I understand if you never heard the books, but like, come on, the movies? Jeez. But anyway, no judgment. If you've not read this before, I do urge you to certainly, if not pick up the book, to at least check out the movies because I love the movies as well as the book. So anyway, that is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful during the winter time. I mean, Santa Claus makes an appearance in the first book. How wintry can you get? Next question. Hot Chocolate, what is your favorite children's book? I cheated just a wee bit, <laughs> as I often do. And my favorite, favorite children's book that is so memorable to me, it means everything to me is Grimm's Fairy Tales by the Grimm Brothers. I love, love, love this book. Um, I had a copy of it when I was younger and through, you know, moving when I was younger, the book was lost and I want to give me another copy and I want to pass it down um, to my children and I want my children to pass it down to their children. I just really want to keep this book in my family because it is that dear to me and just that magical to me. Next question. Double shot of espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I don't like to be <laughs> repeating myself over and over and over again, but we all know it's Illuminae by J. Kristoff and A.B. Kaufman. Like, I love that book so much. So much. <laughs> but a runner-up that is just neck and neck with it really tight that I love from start to finish there is no problem with that book to me whatsoever and that is Cress part of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Maria I loved love love loved that book Cress is an amazing character her relationship with Thorne was amazing I mean the character development the story everything that happened in that book was just instantaneously like <gasps> Cress was amazing I highly recommend you check out both of those books but if you're gonna check out Cress you have to read one and two and yes you have to deal with Whiny Scarlet but after you get past her it's totally worth it next question Starbucks name a book you see everywhere this was super super tough the only reason why is because the first book that it came to mind was Divergent <laughs> You literally see Divergent everywhere, right? And now that there's a movie, you see it even more. 
But the book that I am choosing, I have seen it at my local grocery store, Food Lion. I've seen it at Walmart. I've seen it at Target. And I've seen it all over Barnes and Nobles. And that is Rick Riordan's Magnus Chase. I'm a huge fan of this man as of right now. Like, I don't know if you can, like, see this. But I'm slowly building a Rick Riordan collection. Like, I want all of his books. And I'm going to get that Magnus Chase, like. I think we should give the Percy Jackson movies another chance. <laughs> I know, I know what you're saying. I think we need to give it another chance. Like, I just need for the continue on because there was some handsome looking characters and I just <laughs> want to see them again, regardless of how we feel about that. Sorry, I'm the, I know, I know. Next question. That hipster coffee shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out. Here's what's really, really cool. I actually had no clue as to who was considered indie and not. So I actually just went on Goodreads and looked up indie authors. And lo and behold, the queen who made me read her entire series book back to back to back in one month. Jennifer L. Armentrout. If you have not read her, if you've not read the Lux series, absolutely amazing. Like Obsidian is my thing. Like, oh my gosh, Team Black, like, is the sexiest man in a book. Jennifer L. Armitrock created the sexiest man in the book. Yeah, there's plenty of other characters where like, oh, I totally shit him and he's like totally awesome. He's so sweet and he's handsome. Oh. But no, Dean Black is just oozing with just sexiness. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I was like, dang. <laughs> As I'm reading the book, dang. You know, like, that's how good looking this woman has shaped this man in my head. And I'm just like, and you ask anybody who's read Up City and how they feel about Demon Black. I'm not a lion. I'm not lying. Allie, comment below. Let them know. Allie, let them know. <laughs> Chelsea, I know you're reading that book too. Let them know down below. I'm, t I'm telling you, like, sexy. Next question. Oops, I did it again. I play with your heart. Got lost in the game. Ooh, baby, baby, oops. You think I'm in love. And I'm sitting from above. I'm not that innocent. Oops, I accidentally got deaf. <laughs> Name a book you were expecting more from. Okay, so we, you know what I'm gonna say, right? Like, I feel as though I haven't hid this, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this book in my last two videos and my feels of that situation. And I believe there was a nice little conversation about it in one of my comments. Um, carry off my rainbow brow. I really expect that book to be everything everything i thought it was gonna be like the new hope of books like the comeback of star wars like it was i thought carry on was gonna be the force awakens in books that's where that book was because that's what people told me that's what they told me they said i'm gonna read this book seven times in a month if i could i'm like oh this oh i needs to be reading this They did not tell me the truth. I just, I really just feel lied to, honestly. And can I say this? It is not a bad book. It is really not a bad book. It's like that first 125 pages. Just that 100, 125 pages of just, what am I reading? What is this about? I'm unsure. Where are we going with this? Will I ever know what this is about? Like, you just feel that way for 125 pages. But after that, it really is just like, oh, it's, it's an absolutely amazing book. And then the end is, like, how do you feel about that? 
But I'm just saying, like, for I thought that book was gonna be <gasps> from beginning to end. It took me 125 pages to be like sucked in, you know, like, like you know, I just was, I just wanted more, and I really want to purchase that book and read it again, just for those parts. I just really hated that beginning. Jeez. Next question. The perfect blend, name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. Now this one, I've already kind of mentioned it, but <clears throat> it is the Little Chronicles. I wasn't quite sure what they meant by, you know, bitter and sweet, whether, you know, some books were bad, some books were good, or if, you know, part of the book was bad, part of the book was good, or if something horrible happened in the book and then all of a sudden, like, it was still worth it because it was absolutely magnificent. And I just feel as though this series encompasses both ideas because I love this series so much. And no matter how much I talk trash about the character Scarlet, who, may we say, is a new trope of the whiniest character known to man. But no matter how much trash I talk about Scarlet, I loved that ending. <laughs> like, I loved that book, you know. I wasn't in love with Scarlet at all. And anytime she spoke, I was like, you stop speaking, someone else should speak. But, <laughs> but I still enjoyed that book. And the ending, uh, again, it's like, Marissa, why do you do this to me? Uh, I can't wait for the next book. I still have that feeling, so that's that's what really matters in the end. So I can say that it's definitely bittersweet, Scarlet, but as a whole, I completely love the series, and I'm telling you, have you read Lunar Chronicles? Have y'all read Scarlet? Like, I just really want to have that. I just want to talk about that. Has anyone read Scarlet? Does anyone feel the same way I do, that she's just the whiningest character maybe known to man? Maybe? Maybe. Anyway, you guys, that completes all the questions. And now we're going to do the part that I always love. And that is we're going to tag some people. So first, we're going to tag the usual suspects, which is Allie from The Lilith Librarian, Megan Precourt, and Chessie Martin. Those three lovely ladies. Please check out their channels. Links down below. Also, we're going to be tagging my homies. And that is Miss Lee B12 and Josh from School Reads. Hey girls! All right, my sister from another mister, Jazzy from Jazzy Queen 88. Yeah, girl, I'm looking forward to this video too. And my last friend who's so, so lovely is Kara. She has a wonderful channel and I was just smitten by her because she actually signed her book review on YouTube and I was just like, oh, this girl's absolutely awesome. And she's such an interesting person. <laughs> and so Kara, please, please do my tag. I do look forward to everyone's videos. I'm going to link everyone down below please let me know if you do do the tag so that I can actually just put the link to your video also in my comments as well but anyway I'm saying if anybody wants to do this do it <laughs> but anyway you guys I love all of you you're absolutely amazing you're rock stars and so I'll see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>